Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 29, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And we just had an interesting series of events at the exchange, and I can't shake the feeling that I, I really screwed that one up. But um, the, the, the guides that, that I'm trying to use for this are not as helpful as they could be. So let's uh, let's go report into Chodo real quick, and then I'll see if I can't find some other way to uh, to to. I, I feel like I'm missing some quests, especially since the it looks like the terminal I need is the one that he that I can't access while he's standing there. So uh, let, let's start here. All right. You have returned safely. Did the meeting go well? <laughs> Define well. Uh, I've convinced him to leave you alone. Well, that part's true. I <laughs> sense that your meeting did not go peacefully. It saddens me greatly that blood was shed. It was not my intention. Still, I am again in your debt. Until we find a more fitting way to commend you, please accept this humble gift. Uh... Thank you, what remains to be done. Now nah, let me give it back. For the restoration project to continue in earnest, the government must be made to see the cancer that Zerka has become. The security division is merely an arm of badge-bearing thugs. They supply weapons to the local black market, they steal restoration zones and land illegal stuff. Zerk has embedded itself to the government, yada yada. Hmm. If you can bring Zerka's corporation corruption to light, perhaps the Republic could intervene and cast them out. Um, how do they embed themselves in the first place? The Talusian government initially welcomed the presence. Oh, okay. This is about the security thing. All right. I'll help you. Zerka offices and residential 082 contain a secure mainframe. It's closed system inaccessible from the outside. So it can't be sliced? Alright, we have a skilled technician among us, but they can't access the system. I am certain the mainframe contains files that would expose Zerka's corruption. It's only a matter of obtaining them and then passing them on. So how do we obtain them? There's an employee who may be willing to... Of course... He spends his time in the cantina and the entertainment module. More than that, I don't know. We seek a solution that sees no one harmed but have found none. <laughs> okay. I could blast my way and take them. I could try sneaking in and stealing them. Uh, have you tried bribing? <laughs> no, I would not know who to contact. And I am worried. We have been taking taken advantage of many times of late. Can I guarantee you the bribe will work? Um, I'm not sure, but we should give it a try. If you say so. Here's 500 credits. <laughs> Why do I have the feeling that the person we need to bribe is uh, going to be worth 500 credits? Alright, let's see what we can do. Alright. Hey, some light side points. And I still got the lightsaber energy cell fixture anyway, even though I told him to take it back. Okay. Uh, there we go. The energy cell is one of the three components needed to construct a lightsaber. This basic fixture can later be enhanced with an energy cell upgrade. Sweet. Bring on that saber. All right. I need to head to the cantina. There is an awful lot of back and forth in this place. And I still got to figure out how to get uh, the greasy exchange guy off the station. That's probably how I'll end up getting the Ithlorian out. He might end up being my last quest. Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. All right. Uh... The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but oh, with their okay. disagreement. This again. 
Never mind. You've got no new conversation paths. What else we got over here? Anything worthwhile? Just the lab station. And a communications terminal. Alright. Is there nothing else? Nope. Okay. Okay. I was hoping there'd be something else. Alright, let's uh, head back to the cantina. I'm pretty sure that dude that we've been talking to is the... that I, I think he's the guy that I gotta bribe. Let's go to the entertainment module. Hey! Alright, so here's the question. Yeah, she I definitely want to level up. So we go skills. We'll keep her stealth up. So I've got a stealthy character if we need it. Uh, I'll keep her awareness up and I'll run off of that. I might as well bump up her treat injury. So there's a high one available if I need it. And the rest will go into repair because I got nowhere else to drop it. So we'll go, okay. Beats. Oh yes, that's right. I wanted to get her the light armor proficiency. Uh, where is light armor? Light armor, not caution. Jedi defense, no. Where is the light armor proficiency? Is that not an option? Come on. That's got to be an option. Empathy, critical strength, caution, no. Your head conditioning, no. Jedi defense. All right, I might bump that up if I don't get enough toughness. No. Dueling. Ooh. Might have to improve her dueling if I can't do anything else. Or sensitive, close combat, regen, computer use, demolitions, security, stealth. Dual strike. Oh. Well, isn't that something? I can't give her light armor proficiency. That's weird. Oh, so that means she can't use that uh, extra stealth thingy. Well, shoot. All right, then. Then let's go with, where's the dueling upgrade? Yeah, improved dueling. That way she gets a bonus to attack and defense. That's better than doing the specialization, especially since I really want to give her the lightsaber specialization and that's not, not exactly an option. Uh, although the Jedi defense is good, except that's only a deflection. Now let's go with the dueling. That, that's going to give me the best bang for the buck for feet. Okay. And she gets two powers now. Let's see. What do we want to upgrade that she's got? We definitely want to uh, upgrade the Force Whirlwind. And we can't upgrade the Improved Battle Meditation. We can't upgrade the Healing. Uh, Night Valor... Energy resistance, force barrier. Let's do the force barrier upgrade. And let's see if we can figure out how to get her into a better uh, position to do that sort of thing. In the meantime, here's the question. The more levels of scoundrel I give him, the less levels of Jedi I can get him. Although, then again, we are able to take the characters up to level 30. But that still doesn't change. The more levels of Scoundrel I give him, the less levels of Jedi I can give him. Uh, I don't think I can start training him on Jedi until a little bit later. So I'm tempted to... Uh, I don't want him lagging too far behind the group, but I think I might let him lag for a little bit right now. Um... Yeah, I'll let him lag just a little bit right now. 
And let's go ahead and save. Let's save it over the actual live, because I think we're far enough down that way that we're not going to go back on that one. All right, into the cantina. Do, 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 copyright. Yep. All right, random people. You know, you know somebody's important when they have a name. Yep. What can you tell me about Zerka? We're the only corporation with a. If this whole Telos thing. All right. Yeah, it's a long shot. If we. Yeah, Gianna. What would you know about it, anyways? You didn't claw your way through the mass of faceless Zerka employees to finally be rewarded with a meaningful posting, only to have it taken away by some woman who'd stoop to anything to get ahead. She's got her hands in too many dirty little... <laughs> um, whoa, I, I think I've had a few too many drinks. Uh, I shouldn't be talking to you about this stuff. Just forget it. Maybe I can help you. What do you mean? Uh, let's go with that first one. Wait, are you talking about accessing the mainframe, the Zerka mainframe? You're crazy. What are you, some kind of slicer? I'm just looking for some dirt, that's well, all. I'm sure there are a dozen sorts of dirt on Lorso in there, but it's a closed system. So how do I this get in? This a joke, right? You're CSD, aren't you? Loyalty test? No. <laughs> Alright, force persuade or just regular persuade? Let's try the regular persuade first. And I want Jana Lorso looking dirty. Alright, other than Jana Lorso, <laughs> only B44 has free access to the mainframe. He's a protocol droid, her administrative assistant. If you control B44, you could walk right in. Okay. So how do I get access to them? All the Zerka technicians are planet side these days, working the recovery zones we've taken from the Authorians. We've contracted out the maintenance for the office's protocol and utility droids. The guy Chano lives in the apartments in residential 082, unit 2B, I think. If you had his credentials, B44 would leave with you willingly. Okay. And I didn't even need the bribe. Huh. All right, so let's head back to the uh, let's head back to the residential area. Go talk to the. Uh, I know, I know. He needs to level. He needs to hold his horses. All right, let's transfer to another module. Let's go back to the east side. Let's go find our repairman. Was it in here? Yes, it was in here. Hi. <laughs> I would like your credentials, please. What for? Uh, <laughs> I need to borrow Zerka's administrative droid. <laughs> Do I? Yeah, let's be flat out. Oh! Oh, that's it? Oh, you can't do that. Why not? Because I can't afford to jeopardize my contract with Zerka? Alright, is this where I go? Is it worth 500 credits? <laughs> For a loan. Ah. Uh, from whom? It's going to be now. It's my concern because I want those credentials. Hey, I answered all your questions. Took a loan from the exchange to cover gambling debts. I had to stay in Citadel Station and do freelance technical work to repay it. Well, you know, um, the exchange exper is experiencing some personnel issues at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much is your loan? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. So just say your credentials are stolen. I could give you an extension on your loan. What if I repaid your loan? I can kill you horribly now, or you can take your chances later. As tempting as it is. Um, what if I repaid your loan? Oh! Holy! What were you doing? Uh, alright, I'll be back when I have the credits. Alright, let's, uh... Let's take it up with our employer. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought we were going to end up needing some bribe money. I, I, I could have sworn that all the guys were talking about how you had to bribe the the dude in the cantina. Who who knew you just had to talk to him just right? And he'd go, oh, oh, that dirt. Why, yes, I happen to have that dirt. I know. He needs to level. He needs to hold his horses. All right. You, uh, got the other 2,000? Ah, you've returned. Alright, I need 2,500 to pay off the technician. This will help us obtain their files very well. Oh. That was easy. Wow. Okay. Huh. Well, okay then. That was... <laughs> hey, I need 2500 to uh, pay off this dude's loans. You do? Okay. Like, I didn't even have to haggle. I didn't have to negotiate. There was no persuade. There was... You're going to loan me the credits. Um, <laughs> Alright, I really am starting to think I should have taken four speed just for these stupid hallways that you're having to hustle down. Back and forth and back and forth. And <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I know my one-handed menace over there. You do not have the credits, do you? Here you go. <laughs> now I can pay her my debt and you can take the droid credentials. I'll be going now. Alright, I got the XP and the credentials. And now we head back to the exchange. No. Uh, that's the shuttle bay. This was... It, uh, yeah, this is where I needed to be. D4, Administrative Assistant for Zika Corporation. How may I help you? Uh, <laughs> I need you to dig up dirt for me. I am sorry, but I cannot accompany you. I may only leave the Zerka offices for maintenance by an authorized Zerka or Zerka contracted droid technician. I have my credentials Those right here. Legitimate credentials. I will accompany you. All right, let's go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah, this is Zerka's protocol droid, a most clever. I'll have a droid technician reprogram it to return to their offices and access the mainframe for us. Hey, I didn't even have to do the hard work. Everything appears to be in working order. Good. Do you understand the task that has been set before you? Uh, please reiterate the mission. Yes, sir. All right. So you're going to enter the Zerka offices, access the mainframe, download the files. Yep. Your programming still will not allow you to harm sentient beings, but we have allowed you the capacity to lie to accomplish your mission. I understand. Oh. 
Okay, and if you're caught, you can wipe your own memory. Oh. Okay. So, I get to play the droid. Nice. Too bad the droid doesn't have the ability to run. Kind of hate that they, uh, this, this is so much walking. So much unnecessary walking. All right. Is there is there a terminal back here? No. That that would be that would be too convenient, wouldn't it? No. Don't mind me. Completely harmless and utterly useless droid. Meandering around, just like all the other completely and utterly useless droids. Hello, B4D4. If you're here, who's manning the reception desk? Hello, B4D4. If you're here, who's manning the reception who's desk? Who's manning the reception desk? All right. Hello, B4D4. Is there something you need? There's some files I need to access in the mainframe. Oh, why is that? There are just some discrepancies. More credits, you say? That's news I wouldn't mind reporting to the sector executive officer. Please, hmm. B4D4, access away. Thank you. Don't mind me. Um. Whatever you mean, suspicious. Do not be hasty. Oh, come on. Any programming similarly inhibits you from harming sentient organic life or allowing such harm to be... Um... I'm confused. Yes, you have been programmed to accomplish a task that cannot be accomplished without defying your programming. Oh, am I going to try one of those little cute tricks to... This is why Apple Channel regularly wipes your memory to prevent you from realizing this and developing quirks or going berserk? <sighs> you already have broken your behavioral inhibitors. You simply have not become aware of it. You may act in whatever manner you choose. I'm trying to break his brain, aren't I? No, there's nothing preventing you from entering the main office and indiscriminately firing on Zerker personnel with your stun ray. Oh. <laughs> yes, I would be obligated to warn them. As such, it would not be prudent to do so unless I was preoccupied and unable to warn them. For example, while downloading the contents of this mainframe. Farewell. Please do not abuse my trust and fire in the personnel while I'm occupied, thereby creating a diversion that allows me to escape with stolen files. That was... weird. T1N1, what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to leave the mainframe. I think someone needs a memory wipe. <laughs> what the... <laughs> Uh, did I just aid in a better T1 droid going on a little mini rampage? I think I did. Alright, copy all the necessary files. 
Erase all data. And log out. Ooh, before I do anything else, any, any other terminals I can access while I'm in here? No? Okay. Wait, is she st she's seriously just standing there? While the droid went berserk? Okay. Okay, so that happened. <laughs> nope, nope, not that way. This way. Th this is definitely one of the more bizarre side quests that you uh, end up on. And that's saying something. Don't mind me. Ah, B4D4. Have you acquired the files? Not yet, I'll return when I do. Yes. Good, you're free to go. What? You're just gonna set it free? Is that a good idea? I don't see why not. Because it can lie. No one expects a droid to lie. Think of the trouble it could cause. Uh, B4D4 hated us against Zerka using abilities for the greater good. I did not believe there were any problem. Uh, lie or I sure? Ah, all right, very well. Farewell, B4D4. Ah, you've returned. I am, I heard, thank you. With these files in hand, the Talosian authorities are certain to expel Zerka from Telos and Citadel Station. Our work can begin again. Hmm. Moza, please take these to the TSF station immediately. As you wish, Chodo. I will return when it is done. The restoration project is still in some danger. Citadel Station requires another source of fuel, but at least Zerka will be gone. Even they can do nothing in the face of such indisputable evidence. Alright, I'm glad I could have helped. And now we shall help you. I have heard that the ship you arrived on is missing, hidden somewhere in Telos. I know one who could help you find it, and a means by which you could travel to him. When Citadel Station was developing the shield system, they worked with a Zabrik ex-military engineer named Baodur. Baodur? I'll find out in a minute, I guess. He designed and oversaw the installation of the shield system's planet side components. His knowledge of Tila's surface and the shield grid is unparalleled. If there were, there's anyone who could locate your ship, it is he. He is a friend and may be trusted. And where is he? He should be on the surface. At one of the Zerka held restorations. And will he be willing to help me? He's been our ally. If you tell him that I sent you, he should be willing to help. Okay. And why is he down there? He grew weary of the Talosian government's reluctance to quickly resolve our contract dispute. Perhaps as a Zabrik, he does not have our patience. Nobody has your patience. When we last spoke, he said he would contact Zerka and handle the matter himself. How he intended to do this, I do not know. I have not seen him since. All right, how do I get to him? I will allow you to use one of our orbital shuttles. It has no hyperdrive, but will allow you to descend to the planet's surface and make a return trip to Citadel Station. I must point out that this is illegal. Landing on the planet's surface without permission is forbidden, and we no longer control that restoration zone. Please be, please be as discreet as possible. Well, you know. The closest shuttle is in Bay 2, Docking Module 126. I will call ahead and have the ship prepared. Um, thank you. Before you leave, there's one last thing. When you agreed to help us, I promised that I would try to heal your connection to the Force. It's only fair that after a great cost to yourself, I uphold my part of the bargain. I believe that Telos will thrive once again, 
and that we would have had no measure of success had it not been for you. When you stood before me, you opened my eyes to a hurt almost as great as the planet's. Your wound, I can feel the immensity of your loss, yet I can feel that you are slowly regaining what you have lost, and then in time you may fully heal. Perhaps, uh, yada yada. Okay. <laughs> Healing a dead planet is one thing, Shodohabat, and healing a Jedi severed from the Force is quite another. With all due respect, I believe you're wrong. You and I both. Hmm. You think I'm going to find more than I think on the surface, you say? Alright. Huh. What kind of connection to the well enough, Chodo Habat, but perhaps you see all this as your chance to exert your own hold over others. Uh all right, thank you, go ahead. <laughs> Not much, but I feel that we've been somewhat successful. Define somewhat. Hey, my maximum force points has been increased by five. I'll take it. All right. So. Oh. The credentials. All right. So we've now... We can now continue on with the Ebon Hawk quest. We've got the lightsaber energy cell. And if I can get more parts, I can create a new lightsaber. We got the escape criminals that went to the surface. Um, I should probably go talk to the security chief about the blaster. And I don't think I'm going to find out much more on the false Batu yet, but... I'll see about that. And we still got to do something about, um... We still got to do something about a new fuel source. Alright. So, first things first. I need to insert a cut because this one ran a little bit longer than I tried to keep my episodes. So, uh... If you're watching the live stream, I got a little bit more in me. We're going to finish uh, one more episode's worth of material. If you're watching on YouTube, that's it for now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.